Hello everybody. We have a game with the black pieces against Mr. X, rated 1150. He opens up London style and as we like to do we attack his London setup with c5 on move 2 attacking the stronghold that he's trying to create in the center. <coughs> so white develops his knight to support the center. We've seen this in previous speedrun episodes. It's a huge mistake. It loses the game immediately. What? How does this lose the game? What? Am I crazy? This guy's rated 1150. But they keep doing the same mistake. When you play the London, you need to defend your pawn with a pawn, not with a piece. So we're going to take this pawn. Now he's supposed to recapture with a pawn, but he doesn't. Therefore, He's putting his two minor pieces on a forkable square. We are going to fork them with our pawn. He says, wait a second. That's just a fruit pawn. But wait, there's more. Oxyclean. Queen a5, check. Picks up the piece. Whoops. Kudos to you if you remember this from one of my other speedrun games. And we take the piece. London, done. Move seven, game over. So he just, you know, puts his pawn here so we can develop the bishop. He's got some piece developments, so we don't want to, you know, get too cocky or anything. But we are up a piece, so there's that. So I'm just going to develop a minor piece and pin his knight. Um, he's going to move the same piece twice, but it's for free because it hits our queen. And our queen doesn't have a good place to go to create a counter threat. However, we're going to throw an intermezzo check. And now our queen does have a good counter threat move that's now available. Comes with check. So this was his knight move wasn't a free move because we got a free move with our queen. So now he moves the knight again. So that's really bad moving it back and forth. Of course, he didn't want to put his queen here it would hang the rook so he didn't have a choice but now the knight's pinned the queen is stuck because of the rook nothing's moving in white's position i just gonna i'm just gonna castle my king is safe he develops his piece maybe he's preparing to castle but not so fast i'm gonna create a threat boom i get to put my pawn in the center and develop my piece for free because it comes with the attack so he moves his bishop to a square he should have moved it to to begin with. And <clears throat> now I'm just going to develop my knight to its most natural best square. White castles, that's some type of progress and achievement for him. Good for him. Um, we can develop our rook. We can develop our bishop. <clears throat> Let's go with the bishop. We're just going to put it here because it's for free. Of course he's going to block, but this takes away the square from his pieces and weakens the horizontal 7th uh, rank. And then we just get to bring it back and put it to a better square. So he's attacking us, but like I said, we get to put it to a more solid, better square. So he just continues the pawn storm, but it's not like we're trapped because he has a bishop here. We, of course, are going to take it because we get uh, free stuff out of it. And it's for f not only is it a free stuff, but we get that free stuff for free because we get it comes with more threats. So now he's going here, hanging knights, hanging queen. Like, I don't know what he's doing. Um, if I give him this check, he can retreat with the knight and save his knight. So, But if I take his queen, he can trade knights with check and save his knight. So if he can save his knight anyway you would take the pawn. The alternative option is pawn takes knight and then your queen's defended that way. So we're going to do that. So that way we win the knight. I don't think he saw that. I think he maybe he thought he won the queen, but he didn't. So you see we calculated three different lines there. We chose the best one. There was queen takes pawn, there was queen takes queen, and there was pawn takes knight. Pawn takes knight was the best. We did that one. He develops a rook, but the knight is defended, so there's never any pressure down the c-file.
we're going to develop one of our rooks behind the past pawn. That's exactly where they belong. He attacks our knight. We're going to ignore him and create a bigger, stronger counter threat. That forces him to move. Now our knight is hit. Um, you could go either way. You could even sack this pawn. Who cares? You're up seven points of material. Doesn't actually matter. Um, so we just get our knight out of the way. Now we're just going to bring our last piece into the game. You see how natural they just go to the semi-open files. The C file, it, it's fully open, but that's not where, like, here's the target and here's your pawn. So it makes more sense to be on E and D. C file, you're not going to do anything except go to maybe C2. So he goes here, which hangs a rook with checks. A terrible move. Garbage move. And then he goes here. He moves his rook here, which is another, like, blunder because we can take this pawn with our knight. And he can't take back because of the pin. So his position was just garbage. So let's go through the game. Develop center. And against the London, we play c5 and break this down. They need to either push past or defend with a pawn. They cannot do this because of what happens in the game. Remember this. Easy wins. This sequence of moves is a known thing in the London opening. You can easily know it by watching my videos because it happens time and time again. And then from here, what you want to do is consolidate as fast as possible. That means get your pieces out, developed your minor pieces, and castle quickly as, as quickly as possible. So I got my knight out, I got my bishop out, and when I put my bishop out, I do it in such a way to make sure his knight can't move. So any type of lead and development he has, I'm stifling it, right? Restricting him. I can trade at will now that I'm up a piece. So, and then boom, he's here, but we just counter attack, counter attack, boom, castle, right? We get out of, we get out of his attack on the queen with counter attacks and then back to our principles and now we castle. Boom, principles, center development for free. Boom, principles, sensor development. Boom, principles, uh, development for free. And this, I knew he was going to do this, but this can only be good for me, right? Because this is not never going to win anything. Can only weaken his king. Um, free stuff. More free stuff. Force move. Um, development and center. Um... <laughs> gonna win the game if he doesn't move forcing threat and it's like it's always the same thing right so try it try it in your games submit your games to me so I can see how your mind works you know what moves you're considering first and so forth um, it's free might as well good luck in your chess